All right, so what this is, this is a circuit board out of my MIG welder. It's a, like a snap-on uh, welder, but it's based on the Sentry machine. And the unfortunate thing is the only thing that is available separately is this linear transistor. It's just a two-wire. And that's all that is available. This whole unit I bought about five years ago. There was only a few left from the manufacturer and now they have none. So the only other way to do it is to send it in to a company. It takes about three to six weeks to get it back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this. I'm going to try and put this little transistor in there and see if this thing will actually start working. What it basically does is you've got different powers coming in here from the transformer and you've got uh, trigger feed and uh, this is your gas feed and you've got this is the wire speed controller here and this is uh, the gun on and off. So as you pull the gun, the, pull the trigger of the gun, these two connect and it allows this, um, this goes out to the motor for the, the wire feed. And there's also a dial on top that actually plugs into this three-way connector here that allows it to speed up or slow down. So we're going to try and get that thing desoldered out of there. All right, so we get a couple of items. Get a little desoldering bulb out. Now these desoldering bulbs here, you have to caulk them. And then when you're ready, you push this button and it sucks the solder down this little hole here. Get you a little closer so you can kind of see. This torch has a little breather hole right there. You always want to f uh, let that face away from your work. If you let it face towards your work, it'll actually melt things, so you don't want that. Go all the way through and then stick that soldering deal in there and pop it. And then it, it, you can see it, it made a smaller amount here. Goes all the way around. The thing will get kind of plugged, so. Get a little booger stuck down inside here. You got to drill that out. And as, as you turn this, you'll see that booger start to come out of there. That's the solder that you've sucked up in there. You'll keep that drill handy so you know which one it takes. And then put everything back together and get ready for the next little bit. Once in a while you need to wipe that tip off because it'll get cluttered with a bunch of stuff as well. Nuts and bolts. And it's still a little sticky, so take our torch, fire it back up. Since it does put a little tension on it, and you're just gonna tap these. And they're just barely just to put a little tension on the nut itself because it's right here. Make sure you can see that, and then I stick my finger right on the edge. And then just go ahead and let it go on down and leave it semi loose semi tight semi loose and then put another one in the end here same thing little washer little tiny nut sometimes you can take your tool and just kind of turn it just a little bit just to get it started just like that just barely 
tighten it, you just got to snug it. And now you've got these two lugs that are, so we'll take our solder and we just lay it right up against that, make sure it's still cooking. Nope, ran out of propane. Let's get her filled back up. Your area kind of degassed just a little bit. And then you can go ahead and fire it back up. You can see down inside that little burner there that's hot in there already. Just one little touch with a spark. You put this here. And it usually doesn't take very much to get it to flow a little dab of solder. And right here I use this. I put my finger up against this just to kind of hold it in place. Otherwise if you don't, you push it on it, it'll push the solder back into the tube. They sent me a little cutter to leave just a little bit so I'll, instead of cutting it just exactly flush, I'll just pull it back just a little bit and then cut it. In case I need to do another repair, I've got a little bit left. Then you always check your work to make sure that no solder has fallen down in here. Make sure that there's no uh, solder bridging a gap somewhere or anything like that. These are all pretty tight. Everything's good there. We'll try that.